Let's continue on with our work with Easy Drummer. And here I have my entire drum track all assembled with all the MIDI clips. And I am going to get ready to print it to an audio track. A couple of one step first, I'm going to select all the clips in the track. So I'll just go ahead and take my insertion tool, click and drag at the end of the track all the way to the beginning, and do a consolidate. And you can do that from your edit menu, which is consolidate clips, and it's option shift three. So let's go ahead and you can see that makes one solid MIDI clip of all the clips that were in there. Now it's super easy to print this to an audio track. So track, new, we have a stereo instrument track, so we need a stereo audio track right there. I'll call it E, oops, E, Z, print right there. And all I have to do is with my grabber tool, drag it down and let go. And it bounces that drum track to an audio track. And now I can send it anywhere in the world to anybody who has um, a computer, is, is working maybe remotely with me, needs a drum track, but does not have Easy Drummer. I've done all the programming. I just send them the audio. And there we go. So it's a really easy way to just quickly print stuff if you're exchanging things across the web with other musicians. Okay. All right. There is another way that you can uh, mix this track and print it. And we'll do that right now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead here, take Easy Drums out of record. And I'm going to just temporarily mute this track. And I'm going to right click on its name. And I'm going to temporarily just hide that track. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create individual auxiliary tracks for each one of the drums in Easy Drummer. And this is really a neat feature. So I'm going to go to my mixer window. And right now, all the drums in the mix, win mix window are out 1 and 2, which means they are coming out. The output of 1 and 2 in Easy Drummer is feeding the stereo feed of this track. And so when I play... Outputs 1 and 2 are, is what's playing or coming the audio feed into my instrument track in Pro Tools. All right. I cannot und I can't I have to have 1 and 2 as one of the outputs of this track. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep output 1 and 2, the kick drum, going to this track right here. But we're going to create stereo auxiliary tracks and or mono auxiliary tracks to have individual audio tracks for each one of our different drums. So here, for my snare, top and bottom, I'll have, I'll put three, four. Snare bottom, I'll put five, six. Hi-hat, I'll put seven, eight. I'll put all my toms on nine, ten. I'll put my overheads on 11 and 12. I'll put my ambient mic on 13, 14, and put my compressed room on 15, 16. And I don't have any one shots, shakers, tambourines, or uh, ambient percussion here, so I'm just going to go ahead and mute those tracks. All right. Now let's go ahead and build our tracks in our mix window in Pro Tools. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot this over on my other screen. And now, Command equals. And you can do this in your edit window as well. I just like working in the mix window. I'm going to create, let me see, I've got, I need a new track for my snare, snare bottom. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need seven tracks. All right. So, Command Shift N brings up my new tracks. And for my snare top, I'm going to use a mono aux track. Call it snare top. Command Shift N, mono aux track, SNR, 
bottom. Now for my hi-hat, Command-Shift-N, aux track, hat, Command-Shift-N. I'm going to create one stereo auxiliary track for all my toms. And since I know after my toms, I've got my overheads, my ambient compressed room, I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, create four tracks or four uh, tracks total. Oops. Oops. There we go. Oh, let's try that one more time. Stereo, aux tracks. And let's see what it gives me here. We're doing hats. There we go. Oops, what did I do? I named them wrong. Here, let's, re let's redo that really quickly. So just right click, they're all selected here. Just delete those. Try it again. Command Shift N. Stereo, aux tracks. And we are doing um, toms. There we go. Okay, now we've got it. All right. So, easy thing to do, instead of naming your tracks, we can duplicate that, and I'll just do three duplicates, and I'll call this one um, Overhead, Command Down Arrow for the next one, Ambient, and Command Down Arrow, Compressed Room. There we go. All right. Now that we've got that, now we need to get the inputs for each one of these tracks. So I'll put one and two here in Easy Drummer. That's going to keep feeding into our original Easy Drummer track. I'll put three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc., etc., are going to feed into all the other tracks. So let's go ahead and set up our track inputs so they're getting the correct audio. Let's set the input for the snare drum top two. Plug in Easy Drummer. Three. Snare bottom. Plug in. Easy drummer. Five. Hat. Input. Plug in. Easy drummer. Seven, eight. I'll just use the left side. I'm doing mono here. There we go. Okay. Toms, easy drummer, plug in, 910. You can see it doesn't give me a left right option because it's a stereo track, so it knows it's grabbing stereo. Here, plug in, 1112. Here, plug in, 1314. And here, plug in, 1516. Let's hit space bar and see what we've got. And there now you can see I've got individual drums on each one of the auxiliary tracks with the kick drum remaining on the original Easy Drummer track. Now if I want to print that to a mix, pretty easy to do. I have to set the output of all the tracks to a common bus path. So hold on my Option key, click on the track output, and set the bus all to bus 1, 2. Now I'm going to create a new stereo audio track. Command Shift N, Command Right Bracket, Stereo Audio. And the input of that track is, you guessed it, Bus 1 2. Let's put that track in input. And there we go. Now all the audio from that, from my drums, is coming into the audio track 1 2. And I'll call this easy print two put the track in record I'll just right, right there across the whole thing a little bit of silence at the end won't hurt anything and I'm gonna go ahead here and 
Press the three key for record, or you can do it this way, the old fashioned way. And you can see our drums there. There we go. And so now I'm recording the entire song, kind of a long way, the old traditional way, as far as just you know, sitting through the whole song and recording the drums to my Easy Print track. But that's another way you can do it using the mixer feature on Easy Drummer there. All right. All right, so there I have my print of Easy Drummer. Let's close Easy Drummer here. And I'll hit return, and there is the track I've just printed. And that was using the auxiliary outs and individual for each individual drum, which is uh, kind of a nice feature. Uh, I can go ahead and take that of record, and I'll go ahead and mute that, and I'll go ahead and... And I'll go ahead and show my tracks window here. And let's get back our original Easy Print track. Just going to, there we go, make a little bit of room there. Come on, there we go. All right. And there's my original Easy Print track. Let's bring that back into view. There we go. And there's the original Easy Print. And so what I can do is I can have those both in my session if I want. One or the other is fine. Okay. So I'll go ahead and just drag that right there below my music minus mix and then leave my other tracks right there so i don't really and i'll go ahead and hide my tracks menu right there so that is pretty much it as far as at least the basics to get you started with easy drummer and to walk you through this lab uh, how to navigate drums how to navigate the grooves menu how to print easily just dragging your clips to an audio track and then using the other way, which is assigning each one of the drums to an auxiliary track uh, using the Easy Drummer Mix window and then auxiliary tracks and Pro Tools. So I think you'll have fun learning Easy Drummer. It's a great drum program. So have a great time using it.